vicious sandstorm has swept across the Canary Islands, leaving families and holidaymakers stranded. The storm carrying clouds of thick red dust from the Sahara caused flights to be suspended. In winds of up to 75 miles per hour, clouds of red sand from the Sahara Desert is causing chaos in the Northern Canaries, leaving hundreds of British holidaymakers stranded on the island. The government has declared a state of alert as the dust storm which turned the sky orange has reduced visibility. All flights in and out of Grand Canaria Airport and Tenerife have been suspended. But Marty O'Neill managed to get off the island on one of the last flights back to the UK on Saturday. It was quite eerie, lunar looking in places uh, and it very quickly descended into this red grit you could feel in your skin and your teeth. You could even feel it in your mouth and your nose. We were one of the last flights out. We met people on the way home that actually got their flight turned back and couldn't land. The airports were closing, the board was going red. We were extremely lucky to get home. The Canaries, which are a popular tourist destination, is now choking in dust. People still on the island have been advised to stay indoors and keep their windows and doors shut. It's never been as bad as this for about 10 years or more. Uh, people who live out here all the time say it's a very severe Kalima. Uh, and um, it's been very, very hot and incredibly dusty. So why is this happening? The sandstorms known as the Kalima regularly affects the holiday islands. It occurs when strong winds bring hot, dry air filled with dust. Officials are warning residents to stay off the streets because of the dust and sand. And as temperatures rise, so does the risk of fires on the island. The good news is, though, that they do tend to pass quite quickly, so that, um, you know, if the disruption that we're seeing at the moment with the flights it should pass and people should be able to get back from half term. A picture-perfect holiday for many has now turned into a nightmare ordeal. And forecasters fear the worst is yet to come. Noel Phillips, Sky News.